Welcome to our continuing series on troubleshooting Digital Sentry. In today's video, we're going to deal with services. Now, a core component of Digital Sentry services is your computer name and your IP address. So to start off this video, we're going to go into networking and we're going to change the IP address. Now, this is basic. We want to make sure that the first thing we do before configuring any Digital Sentry system is setting the IP address and setting the computer name. Now you'll notice on the DSSRB2 series NVRs we have two local area network connections. Now the reason we do this is the second local area connection can be used to create a dedicated video security network. This can consist of your cameras, client PCs, or a combination of both. The local area connection 1 is primarily used to connect to your day-to-day -day network. Now, if you're not separating out your traffic, local area connection 1 would be the connection we use. Also, please take note, local area connection 1 is also used to determine the product ID and license key entry. If there is no connection to local area connection 1 and we generate a license key ID, that number will not work once it's connected to the system. So we spent some time talking about local area connection, IP addressing, and computer name. The reason why is your services are based off these two key pieces of information. If either is wrong or changed after configuration, this can prevent recording. So we want to make sure the first thing we do is set the IP address and then the computer name. Now, in regards to local area connection 1, there is a little special note as mentioned before. This ties directly into the product ID used to generate your license key. So before that step is taken, we want to make sure to set the IP address. Now on our demo system here, it is already configured. We have a DHCP server running that is dishing out addresses to all of our systems. That is why I didn't have to make any changes to the local area connection. Make sure to consult with your IT personnel if DHCP is present and set up for the security network. So with our IP address now set, the next key piece of information we need for Digital Century is the computer name. Now this can be changed by going into Control Panel, System, and then Change Settings. Here is where we actually make the change. Now notice the computer description. A common error that happens is that people will try to change the name there. That is just a description. To actually change the name, click the Change button and then put in the desired computer name. Now an interesting note here. Directly from the factory, we ship the computer name with the serial number. Now going forward, we are going to start requiring serial numbers, so it might be a good idea to document it there. If you do re-image the system for any reason, for troubleshooting purposes, or to upgrade the system, the computer name will default to PC. With our IP address and computer name now set, we can go ahead and run DS Quick Setup. Now, I want to show you when you've already set the system up, once you get to the confirm IP address and computer name section, you'll see it's already there for you. So you want to make sure when you're running DS Quick Setup, the information you see there is what you want to use. Now we're going to move on to DS Admin. This is another key component of services running correctly. We want to start by logging in. The default username is admin, password admin. Now here in DS Admin, we have two sections we want to verify. One is going to be under available systems. It's going to show our name, the system name, and the IP address. Now the IP address here is going to be the loopback. What this is telling Digital Century is that the database is present on this box. The next important one is VAU. You want to click the plus next to VAU, then click on the name next to it. Now what you're going to see here is the computer name again, but now you're going to see the actual IP address of the system. 
Now, in times when the video server service does not start, we want to verify these two pieces of information in DS Admin to make sure they match with our computer name, IP address, and DS Admin settings verified. We can now see the stars of the show, which are going to be the services themselves. Two ways to get there we can go to Start, and then on the Start menu, we have Services as an option. Or if you don't see that there, you can go to Start, Search, and type in Services and hit Enter. Now, a tip here at our Services screen is to click the Log On As column. This will arrange all of the Digital Century services on the top of the menu. Now looking at these services, the key services, which must be started and set to automatic, are Digital Century Storage Service, Digital Century Video Server Service, SQL Server Agent, and SQL Server. Now the SQL Server is a base component. It is required to be running. If this is not running, no other services will start. If the SQL Server cannot be started, Please contact us by going to www.pelco.com, clicking on support, and then live chat. We'll be happy to assist you there. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.